Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to layer the front pockets of a pair of pants. So as you see here, we have a few pattern pieces that we wish to layer. So this is going to be the pocket bag, um, here the pocket bearer, and here the coin pocket. Um, so one thing that you have to know is like in order to organize yourself, you have to think of placing the patterns that is first closest to um, the leg pattern. So in our case, it's going to be um, the first, the pocket bag patterns. Then we're going to place the pocket bearer. And then finally, we can place the coin pocket. Um, so we're going to start with the uh, pocket bag. Um, so first we will uh, create a sewing uh, connection uh, or sewing line just to have a connection uh, that will allow us to um, use the function superimpose uh, because that way it's going to um, be easier to arrange our pattern pieces. So I'm going to start to create this sewing line. So I'm going to use my free sewing tool and I'm going to connect the uh, pocket bag opening to the opening of the leg pattern, the pocket opening of the leg pattern. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. So once we've created um, those, first sewing, uh, those first sewing lines, so one thing that you have to realize is that on that sewing line, our pocket uh, bags are going to be uh, pressed turns. Uh, on uh, that sewing line. So what we need to do is we need to select both sewing line. So we can, I'm going to select them with my edit sewing tool here and there. And I'm going to turn my sewing line tab, uh, my sewing line type, so here. Once I've done that, so before simulating, um, I have to place my pocket bags with the superimpose option. So I'm going to select both of my pocket bags here, then click right on one of them and then say superimpose under. And you see they will be placed under. And in order to check them on the inside, I can just hide my avatar and then just turn around and then just check inside. So as you see, it's not, it's not yet perfectly placed, but it's already much better than using other method like arrangement points. So before I simulate, I'm actually going to freeze my other pattern pieces because otherwise they're going to be, they're going to fall on the floor. So here I click right on one of them and then say freeze. So in order for the pocket bags, uh, to help the pocket bags place themselves nicely, I'm going to strengthen them. So I'm selecting both uh, pattern pieces, click right and then select the option strengthen. Then once that is done and I can simulate, and you see they start to place themselves so it's not yet completely perfect, but in order to make them nicely flat, I can just use my hand, uh, my little hand tool, my selection hand tool, and then just try to move um, them so that they're flat and nice. So here and then there, on this side. Yeah, so it's almost, almost good. And why am I doing this? It's because later on we are going to use the fold arrangement tool um, to fold the pocket bag onto itself and it's better to fold it when there's uh, less wrinkles. So here I'm doing this to prevent um, wrinkles and to prevent any bad collision happening when we use a full arrangement tool. So here you see it's quite flat. It looks quite all right. So I can then um, move on to the next step. Um, so I'm not going to unstrengthen them right away. I'm going to wait until the end. So now what I'm going to layer is I'm going to layer my pocket bearer. So I'm going to stop my simulation. I'm going to select both of my pattern pieces in order to unfreeze them. So I click right and then I select unfreeze. And I'm going to do uh, one sewing line in order to um, connect them and use a superimpose 
an option. So that sewing line that I'm going to do, I'm going to stitch first on the pocket bearer to the waistband. Um, of course, there's more, multiple way. I could also stitch the pocket bearer to the side, um, but because the waistband is only one straight pattern, and here, as you see, I have two pattern. I prefer to, to use a, a waistband because it's uh, easier, let's say. So I'm going to um, start my sewing connection. So I'm going to select my free sewing tool right here, and I'm going to sew my pocket bearer to my waistband. So as you see here, I made myself some notches in order to find uh, the position, right? Um, so please help yourself in, and do so. It might be easier uh, for you when you are stitching patterns together. Here and then here. Like that. So in this case, we do not need to turn our sewing line types because the pocket bear is going to sit on the sides of my waistband or straight down from my waistband. It's not going to be under or over, so there's not. it's not going to be pressed turn on that sewing line. So we just need to do that and we're good. Then I'm going to select both of my pattern piece and because I want them to sit straight, um, 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 from the waistband, I'm going to click right on one of them and say superimpose sides. And as you see, they're quite nicely placed. Um, there still needs to do some tweaking. So if you go in the back, just make sure that the pocket bearer is going to be uh, placed also under the pocket bag because we want it to be sandwiched in between the folded pocket bag. So here I'm using my gizmo to just move it a tiny bit inside and I'm going to do the same on my other side here. Then I'm going to simulate and everything seems quite stable. Then I can finish the sewing of my pocket bearer. So I have this little part here as well as the side seam. So I'm going to start by the tiny part so from here to here, and this is actually going to also be attached to my waistband. And from here to here. And here to here. And then also the side. So um, here it's going to be can uh, it's going to be cut with the yolk. So I I made myself so notch um, in order to guide my sewing. So from here to here, from here to here and then top down, top down. Now do the same on the other side. So from here to here, from here, oops, to here. Then I can simulate and everything seems quite stable. So once that is done, then we can fold our pocket bag onto itself. So I'm going to um, fold it using the fold arrangement tool. So select the fold arrangement tool in the 3D window and then um, click on the internal line that is uh, where the fold is going to be created. And then you can bring, in my case, it's going to be the green arrow towards the red arrow. So it's okay if it doesn't fall completely flat, just make sure that there's no collision um, between um, the pocket bag and the rest of the garment. So here it should be all right. And then on the other side as well, like this, not too much in order to prevent some bad collision to happen. And then we can change the fold angle um, to zero so that it's going to fall perfectly flat because and you know it's zero because it's going to be the back side of the fabric touching the back side of the fabric. So once that is done, then we can simulate and you see that my pocket bags are going to be placed themselves nicely. Once everything is stable, then you can stitch your pocket bags to the, uh, together or the, the folded sides uh, to themselves. So I'm going to use, um, this time I can use my segment sewing tool. So I'm going to stitch this side to this side. 
So in this case, make sure that the marks are, are actually in the separate or in the opposite direction because um, my pockets bag are folded to itself. So when you fold it back, it means that they're going to be touching themselves in the right direction. Um, and because um, um, the sewing line is actually pressed turned, then we will need to change the sewing line type here to turned here as well. So I stitched both sides and I changed my sewing line type to turned. I can also stitch the top part of my pocket bag. So this top side and I will stitch it using my free sewing tool to the pocket bearer. So from top to bottom and then here top to this notch right here. And same thing because on this sewing line, uh, there's it's actually pressed to turn. So I'm going to change my sewing line type to turned. And I will do the same on the other side. Turned. Once that is done, then I can simulate to make sure that everything is stable. It looks like it. And the last thing that I need to do on my pocket bag is actually stitch it, this part to the waistband. So I'm going to um, um, go from here to here, and it's actually going to be from this notch to, I do not have another notch, but there's going to be a blue point. So I'm going to use my blue point to know the exact same distance. So I'm gonna go from uh, the side seam, um, basically, towards the middle and here it's going to be from side seam I mean the side of the waistband to the blue dot and here you do not need to uh, change your sewing line type because um, the this part of the pocket bag is actually going straight down from the waistband so then from here to here and it's going to be from this here to there Then once that is done, I can simulate and everything seems quite stable. So we finished with the pocket bag. So once I'm done, then I can unstrengthen them. So I'm going to select both pocket bag, click right on one of them and then select unstrengthen. The only piece now that I'm uh, missing is my coin pocket. So I'm going to stop my simulation. I'm going to select my coin pocket, click right and unfreeze it in order to stitch it and then place it properly. So I'm going to stitch it in the 2D window and the stitching is quite simple. So I'm going to stitch my sides here. Then here. and then my bottom and because my sewing line is going to be pressed turn on my bottom I change my sewing line type to turn and now I can select my coin pocket in the 3d window click right and then select the op option superimpose um, over so click right superimpose over because it's going to be placed on top of my pocket bearer and then I can simulate and make sure that it's stable. So yes, as you see, I have my little coin pocket and I also have my uh, uh, big pocket and everything is there, all the patterns are here and everything is layered nicely. So yes, thank you for watching um, this um, tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it.